This is the parable of the wolf and the sheep. A wolf was moving through the forest one day far ahead of its pack when it could smell sheep on the wind. It moves through the woods, gets to the very edge of a large meadow, grass and flowers for acres upon acres, and in the middle of this huge meadow, hundreds of sheep and one sheepdog patrolling around them. But the meadow was surrounded by a tall fence and the wolf knew it would not be able to get over the fence, so it was preparing to leave. And as it was doing so, it hears a very timid voice nearby. Help me, please, help me. The wolf pauses and then looks around. And at the far corner of the fence, it sees one lone sheep. So the wolf moves through the woods around to that side and stops. And again, it hears, help me, please, help me. The wolf then pushes its head through the brush and as it does so, the sheep looks at the wolf. Its eyes grew wide. Its body began to tremble and shake at the sight of this large wolf coming through the brush. The wolf then asks, why do you want my help? There was silence. Then a second or two later, the sheep slowly stopped trembling, then says, I need to escape. I must leave this place. Now the wolf was curious. The wolf steps through the brush standing over the sheep, looking down at it. Does the shepherd not give you water to drink or let you graze upon the grass in the field? And the sheep looked down at the grass at its hoofs and then back up at the wolf and said, Yes, he does. Then the wolf thought, Does the shepherd not give you medicine when you're sick and provide you shelter when the weather is bad? And the sheep looked up at the sky and at the clouds and then back down at the wolf and said, This is also done for us. Then the wolf hears the sheepdog barking and yapping and looks up and sees that the sheepdog is herding the other sheep farther down the field. And the sheep are moving away. The wolf looks back down at the lone sheep, its hooves muddied, its fleece dirty and tangled up. It had been trying to dig under the fence maybe for hours. The wolf says, does the shepherd not provide you safety in the form of that sheepdog? Then the sheep glanced back over its shoulder, seeing the herd moving farther away, knowing that the sheepdog would realize that it was gone and it would come looking for it. The sheep looks back towards the wolf. This too is done for us. Then the wolf thinks, and then looks at the sheep and asks, then why do you want to leave? Then the sheep responds, because we are dying. Every day, the sheepdog takes some of us away and the shepherd counts us and our numbers are less. And each day there are fewer and fewer of us and no one knows where we go. I don't want that to be my fate. So the wolf thought about that. And the wolf looks back at the sheep and looks back at the other sheep in the field and says, but where will you go? And then he looks down at the sheep and the sheep looks at the wolf and says, I want to be a wolf like you. Now this almost made the wolf howl out loud, the very thought that a sheep would want to be a wolf. Then the wolf leans its head down, eye level with the sheep and says, I am a wolf. My pack are wolves. We are feared. We are hated. We are hunted. Why would you give up your life of comfort and ease to have an existence of such hardship? We live in a world full of danger. And for the first time since the wolf had met the sheep, its eyes narrowed, its trembling stopped. And the voice that came forward was a, a voice of strength and confidence. And the sheep, looking at that wolf so close to him, responded, Because you are free. And that is the parable of the wolf and the sheep. The moral of that story is that when everything is provided for you and you have no want, and your safety and your security is at the hands of someone else, you will never truly be free.